Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labour of your hands you shall eat. Blessed are you, and blessed will you be. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Gather as we do this morning, Friday, the first of May, we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. It's also the first Friday of the month when we think about the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the Sacred Heart of Jesus we place all our trust in you. As we gather today celebrating the feast of St. Joseph the Worker, in this COVID-19 time. We remember all who are out of work at this time and because of the epidemic, pandemic and we just ask God's grace and, and blessing uh, upon all who are out of work at this time. And we pray God's blessing too upon all who are sick and those who have died because of the pandemic. We pray your blessing upon us, Lord, as, as we journey in faith, hope and love through this day. We entrust our lives to you. We open our hearts and our lives to you. And as we prepare to celebrate our Mass today, we ask the Lord in his love and goodness to forgive us for those times where we have failed. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant but that by the example of Saint Joseph and under his patronage we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. And a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Over all these clothes, to keep them together and complete them, put on love. And may the peace of Christ reign in your hearts, because it is for this that you were called together as parts of one body. Always be thankful. Never say or do anything except in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God our Father through him. Whatever your work is, put your heart into it as if it were for the Lord and not for men, knowing that the Lord will repay you by making you his heirs. It is Christ the Lord that you are serving. The word of the Lord. Our response to the psalm is Alleluia. Before the mountains were born or the earth of the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. Response, Alleluia. You turn them back into dust and say, Go back, sons of men, to your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, 
no more than a watch in the night. Response. Alleluia. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. Alleluia. 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 May the Lord be blessed day after day. He bears our burdens, God our Saviour, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Coming to his hometown, Jesus taught the people in their synagogue in such a way that they were astonished and said, Where did the man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers? This is the carpenter's son, surely. Is James and Joseph and Simon and Jude not his brothers? His sisters too, are they not all here with us? So where did the man get it all? And they would not accept him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is only despised in his own country and in his own house. And he did not work many miracles there because of the lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. And as we gather this morning on this first Friday, we gather in faith and we hear in the Gospel of today's Mass the lack of faith. And Lord, we believe, help us and strengthen us in our faith. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who in these times find their faith difficult. We pray for all who are suffering, who are experiencing the cross through sickness, isolation, alienation. Bless them, Lord. Keep them in your care. And may they know you and know your love for them. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are out of work at this time. On this feast day of St. Joseph the Worker. Lord, rid us of the coronavirus. And may all be back to work soon. Lord, hear us. For those who are preparing examinations at this time, the Leaving Cert, those in college, we pray for our young people, Lord. Touch them with the kindness and the strength of your love. And may they know your presence in their lives. Lord, hear us. And Father, these are our prayers, and we have many more prayers which lie deeply in our hearts. We bring them to you, Lord, today, remembering those for whom we have said we would pray for, those who are sick at this time, those who are preparing to go under our, our operations. Keep them, Lord, in your care. And we make them this, these prayers and all the prayers of our Mass today, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread which we now offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine which we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saint Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of Saint Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you a spouse of the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dermot, our Bishop, and all who are called to ministry in your church. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. With great confidence in our Father's love for us as children of the Father, we are privileged our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called through the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
And since I cannot at this moment receive your Lord sacramentally into my body and soul and my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there and you are there. And I unite myself wholly to you, my Lord and my God. Never permit me to be separated from you, my Lord and my Saviour. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through Jesus, your Lord and your Saviour. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and yours wherever they may be at this time. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Protect us in 